Hi folks, um, this video is a follow up to a previous video on date and time for beginners in ClickView. So this is obviously part 2, I'll crack on. Um, we have a table box here with a day field, month, number date, string date, time and a start date. You can see there's some problems or issues with the data. So if we go into the press control and E to go into the script. We have a date field which looks fine but maybe we want to change the format from its current format which is day day month month yeah, year 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 um, so maybe change the forward slash uh, to a dash and maybe just have 12 instead of 2012 so we just control the name so we say date put in the format of the date as it currently is which is uh, As date, oops. But we actually want to reform our from that, so that's the input, and then we need to add the output. So we say date, and say comma, and then single quotes the output date, which is. If I click reload, you can see now the date format has changed, which is the way we want it. We could go back into the script, control and E, and we could add, um, we could do it another way. We could say date, date, comma, two single quotes, and say Dash and M dash Y Y as date one. So basically, it's instead of having an input and an output, we just have an output. Um, it sometimes won't work. I think this is the safer bet up here. But sure, listen, it's all about learning more about how dates work on learning widgets. So if I press uh, Control and R to reload, you can see now date one field is doing the same thing as the date field but yet the, the script is, is slightly different um, you can see month test we can see it's uh, it's currently at a number but it's actually not really a number if I press control of one in Excel it's actually in its text so if we want to get that to read as October or OCT o -C -T for October we go into the script and we go into month test and we can say so we say date hash and the format that we want it in is mm per month so month test and actually we need to put month before this because what this is doing is this convert, uh, converting it to a number and then we're going to put month before that let's close off the last final bracket click reload and we should convert that um, to October we just scroll down you can see November December so that seems to be working So control me back into the script again. We can just uh, for time. If we look at it, uh, click OK. You can see time here. Although in the Excel spreadsheet it looks looks fine, it looks OK. In the click view file, it's it's a bit all over the place. So what you do is press Control and E. We can say time. I'm the same frac. Time and then after that we're going to put in format, which is um, lowercase error error. Minute, minute.
Sorry about that folks, just bit got a bit confused there. Um I'm just gonna tidy this up time get rid of this so I had that wrong. So it's time frac time, comma, error, minute as time. Um again if you click OK you can see the time is still a bit all over the place. Press control and R to reload. You can now see uh you've gotten the correct format for the time now. Um the number date and the test string date is literally just put uh Sorry, I keep doing that. Uh, control and E. I put date before each of these. So date, number date as number date and date test string date as test string date. And that should work. Uh, it's this one here that seems to be the main problem, which is the start date. So we're going to try and uh, have a look at this. You can see it's a bit all over the place at the moment because there, and there's actually two different formats of dates in here. So we want to read it as we want to read this as something similar to the main date field um, in the script. So we look at click view. So we're going to have to use something like this. So we say date. Probably date start date. So it's the format that's coming in. So in this case, the main format is year, 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 day, day, month, month. Um, I'll just double check that in the Excel file. Year, 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 month, month, day, day. Actually, so that could have caused problems later on. M M D D. As Start date. Just put a space between it. Just click reload. You can see now we still have a problem. So we go into the script again. What we're looking for is actually we want an input date and an output date. So we say date and then comma. We actually want that as day day, month month, year year. We can then try that. Actually, we need to have a hash here because it's, it's probably numeric. Date hash. So we can try reload and see if that's any better. Okay, so you can see that's much better. That has um, that's converted everything except these are coming back blank. The reason for that is because there's different dates. So what we're going to try and do is, sorry, we're going to use press Control and E go into the script. We're going to use Alt and then after this comment, we're going to say date. Copy start date. Comma. And then we've got a couple of open parentheses here. We're gonna close one here and then we'll have a final comma. Say basically what we're saying if start date is formatted as this or as this, we want to give back a final result of um it's actually the same as this, but you need to you need to define it. So it's just copy. So and then close the final parenthesis there. So that looks okay. We're just gonna click OK. So you can see we're still missing those uh, maybe four or five or six, maybe five of them that are blank. So if we click reload, that should then work correctly. So you're using the alt function for when you have two different format types within a date field like this one here. So a bit of a long video, but again, it's some more insight into uh, click view dates. Um, I hope that helps, and I'll see you soon for the third installment of.
Fix you, date, and time for beginners. Cheers, guys.